Finally, I've gotten my hands on the new Echoes of Doom box. Thank you, Brexit. But after looking through it and having built the models, I asked the question that always comes up. Is it really worth it? If you don't know by now, I am a Skaven collector. I love these evil little rat guys, and the reason I got this box was for the Skaven half, especially for that new Eshin assassin model. And it looks like things have been going good for Skaven's clan Eshin lately, with the addition of 5 new assassin models from the Nether Maze box. But that assassin model is also the downside of the box. It's the only new model that the Skaven have as part of this box. No new unit or monster model, just a single new assassin model. But on the face of it, it doesn't seem too bad. You do get some nice Skaven stuff, but when compared to the other half of the box, the Sylvanek got a new hero model, as well as a new unit. But enough from me about my Skaven whining. The box has much more to explore than just new units. Let's dive in, take a look at the box, and see is it really worth it. The first thing that comes to everyone's mind when a new box like this comes out is how much money is being saved. Boxes like this have a great reputation on saving money and this one continues that. Starting with the Skaven, the Screaming Bell comes in at 55 euro, the Storm Vermin is half the size so they come in at 22.50, 20 Clan Rats are 34 euro, the Assassin is going to be around 23 euro. That gives you a total of 134.50 on the Skaven side. The Sylvanette side starts with the Spirit of Dirtu, coming in at 55 euro. The Coronet Hunters coming in at 47.50. The new unit of Gossamid Archers are based on the price of the Tree Revenants, which are 40 euro. And the newest hero, Lady of the Vines, is 45 euro, based on the price of their latest hero model, the Warsong Revenant. This is a total of 187.50. The total of both armies comes to 322 euro. The price of the box is 150 euro, which gives you a saving of 172. This is an incredible saving. And if you guys want to see a further breakdown of the prices in different currency, make sure to check out the link below. Skaven players got the rough end of the stick when it comes to the models. Great models for players starting out, but as a Skaven collector, I already have these models apart from the Assassin. The Screaming Bell is a fantastic kit. But the other units of clan rats and storm vermin can seem a bit dated by now. Don't get me wrong, the clan rats look great for what they're meant to be which is a fearless horde of ratmen and still look good after all these years so they get a pass but an updated unit of storm vermin would have been incredible for this box. I like the storm vermin but I'm not a fan of the pose with the spears. Imagine these with a plethora of different weapon options. When it comes to the sylvanet on the other hand, I've never had any of these before but games workshop can just take my money. The level of detail in these guys blows me away. I did get a little frustrated when building them with how frail some parts can be, but hats off to Games Workshop on making these guys. Whoever designs and produces these to this standard does not get paid enough. Incredible models. The Tree Lord has been a model on my list to get for a while now, and it's great to finally have him and a small army to go with him. Other things about the box is that it comes with the usual stuff of rules, lore and game tokens. The lore is not in special, Skaven Grace here looking for power, sees the Sylvanette as the target, invades with his army, his assassin also has his own agenda, but we get the usual Skaven shenanigans. After everything is said and done, what is the verdict on Echoes of Doom? Is it really worth it? The short answer is yes. Big savings, not just a really good variation of models, but the addition of newer models is always welcome. I was a little disappointed with the box's instructions though. It doesn't show how to build some of the models with different variations, like the plague furnace instead of the screaming bell, or the sword option for the Karnath hunters instead of bows. While the box is worth the price, I can't have feel like this is a missed opportunity to completely rehaul the Skaven with this box and with the new battle tome that's just out. Like I said before, an updated unit of Storm Vermin would have been the perfect cherry on the top for this box. Well, since this could be my last few Skaven models for a while, I think it's time I figure out how big my collection finally is. 